Hello, this is Will Steger at Copenhagen. I want to say hello to my friends at Oxfam, One Sky in Minneapolis. We are in the city of Copenhagen. We're attending the climate conferences that are being held here this next couple of weeks. Copenhagen is an incredible city. It's really setting the example, I think, for us in the United States. Uh, um, a really impeccable uh, mass transit system. Uh, but more than that, you see people are on, on bikes. And there's, there's lanes for traffic and there's also lanes for bike, bicycling. Um, very, very low carbon society here, uh, but a very high quality society. Everything that's done here is really done properly and, and uh, people are out, out and, and moving around, exercising uh, is a very great uh, example, I think, for us here. The Will Steger Foundation has brought a delegation of 12 youth from the Midwest and we, we have been last week observing and attending uh, the various meetings and negotiations that are going on. And we're communicating this back to our youth and back to our general public in, in the Midwest. There's more than 15,000 people here at the conference. Uh, uh, we have about 500 youth from the United States, a total of about 2,000 from around the world. Uh, there will be over 100 heads of states. So this is uh, unprecedented. So we have a real large commitment from all the countries around, around the world. Uh, my main interest here is uh, uh, reducing our carbon levels. We're hoping that we can shoot at a target of reducing it to 350 parts per million. What's at stake here are vulnerable communities. We have many indigenous people from small island nations to the Inuit in the far north whose cultures are, are basically being totally changed here with, with climate change. And uh, the great thing about it is we have the technology, we have the ability to drive down the carbon uh, to build a great economy and national security, but we need a binding treaty to reduce the carbon, to protect the environment. And uh, especially for our delegation, we're working with the young people. They're just really, really incredible. I look at these young people, I look at you know, their, their children down the line. This is really what's at stake here. But uh, to me, it's uplifting because I've been working on the climate issues for over 20 years. And we have um, many nations, 100 uh, heads of states are coming. At, at the Bella Center where the conference is being held, it's really, uh, first view is it's chaotic. People all over, uh, but it's actually quite organized. Uh, many different conferences. There's the main negotiations going on, but in addition to that, uh, many heads of states presenting. Uh, we have great U.S. Uh, participation here. Uh, the U.S. Center, uh, every day there's a number of presentations from the head of the EPA from Energy. Uh, so all, we have a very strong U.S. delegation. I'm very, very proud of the United States here for the representation. But all the countries are out here in earnest. China, India, um, many of the countries here that we're meeting. Uh, what's really incredible are, are we meeting the youth from around the world. The, uh, and they're all online. I mean, they, there's 2,000 here, but they're representing millions and millions. Uh, they're very working uh, re real and earnest here, taking this very serious and communicating what they're seeing out to their peers. So this is, a, when I first came here, um, I saw this as a, as a real piece of history because this is a pivotal part not, uh, for life on the earth and, and for our, our species right here. With the, with the carbon rising like this, it's extremely dangerous. Uh, but we're now starting to take that serious. This, the science is really firmly behind this. Uh, I've been the eyewitness to this. I've seen it firsthand. I mean, seeing is believing. Uh, the old saying is there's no atheists in the foxholes. Well, I've seen this in the Arctic. I mean, it is really serious what's happening. Um, but I draw my hopes from the youth and from the fact that we have, we have the technology. And, uh, and, and it's really the economic solutions are where the real answers are. And I re, re, very hopeful here that we're going to get an agreement uh, that's going to turn this around and make a better planet and a better economy for us.